How about the geopolitical unrest? Are you seeing that factor into, I mean, I know we're really talking about domestic, you know, typically at least companies are going to operate domestically uh, in the, in this country in healthcare. Are you seeing the, uh, you know, the Mid- Middle East situation or even Ukraine seep into the uh, investment strategies or uh, transaction strategies at all? From a banking angle, I've really only seen it directly with a number of technology companies obviously have assets and employees that are over there. But unless the business is I haven't seen so much of an indirect impact, but mostly a direct impacts where those companies have to reassess many more things that are more important than, you know, M&A activity and seeking out an investor right now. You know, the geopolitical uncertainty feeds into your first question. It's part of what's contributing to the higher interest rates. But I would say that in investors, in, in my experience, are more um, interested than ever in healthcare and in artificial intelligence because it's not directly impacted by geopolitical affairs. And, you know, we are, as a country, facing the tremendous cost of these wars, the cost of the higher interest rates, just as baby boomers are starting to cost the country a lot of money, in particular because of their health care expenses. So, so I think there's an understanding that the ACA, Obamacare, did not go far enough to address the cost of care, although it did expand access to care, and that something else is coming. And that something else is probably going to put more emphasis on cost of care. Um, And this is something that the country has struggled with, especially the entitlement programs. We think information technology can play a big role in bringing better health care at a lower cost to the country. Did you have anything? Yeah, I mean, I echo uh, panelists' comments. I mean, we obviously, are very focused on employees that are based overseas. Um, the economic uncertainty is, is obviously impacting the environment as well. Um, there's a lot of tech talent, particularly in Ukraine and Israel. Um, those are all things that, that we're, we're very focused on and making sure that everyone's safe.